I'm Shelley Appleton and welcome to this training insight. This is the horse that started bucking. This is part one. So why did this lovely sweet horse start bucking? So B was a four-year-old Clyde style cross gelding. He was purchased as a foal and when ready he was carefully started by his owner. He was lovely and proved himself easy to train with a great temperament. Not long after starting, he attended Pony Club, Jim Carners, and was so dependable that even at this young age, he was used in his owner's riding school. Then one day after having a two-week spell, he was brought back into work and exploded on the end of the lunge. The saddle was removed and he was taken for a walk in hand around the property, and he calmed. It was a shock. He didn't appear sore or unsound in any way. After this event, he would explode as soon as he felt the girth. He then started to become funny about being rugged, but no one could find anything wrong with him, so he was given some time off. I met B in August 2019. I approached his case as one where I'd focus on rebooting his training and acceptance and associated with being saddled. His responses to learning would help identify if he had developed an evasion or whether the problem was some kind of unsoundness. So although anxious initially, he learnt and performed groundwork really well. Good control on the ground and positive reinforcement allowed us to reintroduce the girth without him exploding. But we noticed this. So what you're seeing here is that just in normal groundwork without the saddle on, he would walk and trot and canter normally and relaxed. Okay, however, when he had this sur single attached, his walk would change. So he went from a relaxed, correct walk to this lateral walk. So see how he's walking laterally with both his legs on either side kind of walking at the same time, like he's pacing in walking. And this was when the girth, when it was actually, when the actual like sur single was done up. So therefore B was referred to the vet because this was a red flag that something was going wrong. Okay, to be continued, see part two to follow this case.